Hello everyone, just back on the check-in. I'm here actually in the airport, the domestic airport in Rio de Janeiro. And they've done something brilliant here. They've blended a mall into the terminal, Bossa Nova Mall. Um, and something interesting about malls here in Brazil, you know, people tend to shop at them more than they do in the States now because online shopping is not what it is in the States here. So let's, let's browse around, let's see what's going on. I'm starving too, so we might get some food while we're at it. This, this escalator is terrible, bro. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> there we go. If you guys notice my voice is a little bit funny right now, um, that's because I've been drinking nonstop for like the past three, four days. So I need to get my stuff together. Okay. Well, this mall looks pretty empty right now. It looks like the States. <laughs> so, something that I heard here, I heard it in the, another uh, creator's video where you can actually take a woman to McDonald's and it's treated as, you know, like a decent, respectable date. Ladies in the States and Canada, UK, how many of you would be okay with your guy or your girl taking you to McDonald's for a date? So I, I heard that the McDonald's here is actually type lit, so let's see how it goes. Guys, I literally came here to Brazil with obrigado. That's it. That was the only Portuguese that I spoke. However, with time, I'm starting to understand things. I'm starting to hear the similarity between Portuguese and Spanish, and I'm able to operate now. I can read, I can read it somewhat because there's that uh, similarity with Spanish. So we're doing all right. Yo, the McDonald's here. It's different, in a good way. Check this out. Oops. I want you guys to just listen to this crunch action. Well, it didn't crunch, but still tastes damn good. Here in Brazil, they have a very sex-positive culture. I mean, the, the type of shaming and things that go on in the States, based on what I've seen, it doesn't even happen here. It's refreshing to see couples that look different than the tradition. I mean, they're people of different races who are together. I mean, you have people who are of different um, sexual orientations and they're together and they're not ethered from what I see in society. They're just accepted as normal and they get to live their lives. Um, that's something that I really appreciate about Brazil. I feel like Brazil is ahead of the states in a lot of ways regarding that. Again, this is me interacting with cities as opposed to me going to the country though. So, maybe in the future, if I go to the countryside, it might be a different thing. And there was another YouTuber brother who actually got dragged through the mud for just accurately reporting on the sex positive nature of Brazil, of the society. So, my Uber driver told me that I'm actually staying next As referenced in previous videos, Brazil has brothels pretty much out in the open and it doesn't seem to be taboo. Here goes one right here. You guys know me. I'm not about it. But for those of you who are, it is what it is. I feel like in our society, we're a little bit too emotional as opposed to using critical thinking, looking at things from an objective lens. We're emotional about things, so I think we just needed to be better all around with all issues. I feel like in our society, we've fallen in love with the idea of canceling people, writing them off because they said one thing that you didn't agree with or you didn't like. All right, guys, that's enough for the Keenan Sermon. Signing out from the Heo Edition.